We only got one chance and got one life to live And it's do or die, gotta make it count So lose your worries, let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out, I ain't never gonna slow down Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> We're at the doctor's and my stomach growled really loud. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> he said it sounds like something from outer space. <laughs> sounds like something from outer space. <laughs> I won't eat you, I promise. Hi guys, so we are home. I'm getting ready to start dinner and I am going to make slow cooker creamy ranch pork chops and potatoes. So it calls for thin pork chops and red skin potatoes. I just bought the bite sized ones. Um, I just was reading the recipe and apparently I don't need brown gravy mix. But I don't know why oh, it doesn't have it on there. But I needed it for one recipe, and I don't remember what it was. The past, the pickled chicken I made a couple nights ago, and the beef tips I made yesterday both needed brown gravy. But I needed one more pack for something. I don't know. But I'll stick this back in the cabinet, and we'll have it for next time. <laughs> anyway, so the recipe calls for two cans of cream of onion. I did not have, could not find cream of onion. So I'm going to use cream of celery and I'm going to use one of these. It doesn't call for one of these, but I'm going to use it just so we get that onion flavor. So you need a ranch packet. It did say garlic powder and black pepper and milk. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these things up and then I'll show you. Basically, you put your potatoes down first. Um, I might chop them in half. I don't know yet. Uh, probably will wash them and cut them in half. But they go at the bottom, and then your pork chops go on top of that, and then your mixture goes on top. So, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mix everything up in the bowl. It tells you you can um, just pour it on top and mix everything up that way but I'm gonna do it so it's all blended together. So I'm adding two cans of cream of celery. It calls for cream of onion. Our Walmart does not sell cream of onion. Honestly, I've never even heard of cream of onion, onion soup. I've heard of like, what is that called? Um, you know, French onion. I've heard of French onion, but I've never heard of cream of onion. But Oh, you can tell the healthy from this. Look at the difference, you guys. The healthy, can you guys see that? The healthy. So this one was the healthy one. And the regular one just looks more creamier and thicker. That's so weird. Okay. So the recipe does not call for this part, and I'm just doing it because it had cream of onion soup, or cream of onion, yeah, soup, and they didn't have it. So in order to get that oniony flavor, I'm going to add a packet of this. Who knows, it might be 
better with this. And, you know, I don't know. Never made this before, so we just go with it. So. Okay. Now I'm going to add my ranch. Cats are going crazy. Need a cup of milk. I'm just going to use my can. It's a little over a cup because this is 10 ounces. I think a cup is what, 8 ounces? So. Alrighty. We're going to mix this all up. going to go ahead. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. I'm going to pour a little bit of garlic on there and pepper. Okay, now we'll place our thin pork chops on top. real quick. That way I don't have to wipe down my garlic and pepper when I'm done. Otherwise I wipe them down. Um, I'm going to put some garlic on those. And pepper. Danny does not like pepper. <laughs> okay. Now I will pour my mixture over top of everything. I had a mini one, especially for this. So what I do with it? I got these little mini ones, especially for like mixing and whatnot. It's like scraping out. I'm going to use it to scrape my bowl. I'm just going to pour everything on top. It's hard to do with a paper towel holder in your way. Alright. That works beautiful. Just gonna make sure everything is covered and then I'm going to um, cook this you can cook it on high for four hours that's what I'm gonna do or you could cook it on low for six to seven hours it says. so I'm gonna go high and that means it'll be done about 5 15 we eat about 6 15 so it'll still be I mean we can cook it a little bit longer. It'll be okay. And that is dinner. So, hi. Hi, guys. So, tell me, have you been liking all of these <laughs> crock pot dinner meals? Um, put my milk away. So I had somebody comment um, and ask for more if I would do more like crock pot 
meals because you know they too had an Etsy shop and do you guys do this do you guys put your meat packages in your freezer like I do because it keeps it from smelling up your trash so um, but then what happens is my husband forgets to check the freezer for these when he takes out trash but I always stick them in the freezer it just helps from if you have room obviously but it helps from you know stinking up your trash if you aren't i wash my hands if you aren't able to take your trash out right away and another thing is i don't know many people notice or notice but we have what we call our slop bucket so it's right there so we basically, um, my husband has done this since I met him. Like he would not throw any kind of scraps or anything in the trash and then his parents don't as well. Um, they would have like, if you eat dinner or whatever, you would all have one designated plate or whatever for all the scraps. We're gonna start hands out too. Um, for all the scraps, and then they would take all the scraps out to accomplish that. So, um, but we just have a bucket. So we, um, any kind of like, you know, scraps or anything gets poured in there, and then. Usually it'll go to the chickens if it's like stuff they can eat. Um, but then if it's not, like they won't eat potato peelings and that kind of thing. So that stuff will go out to the compost pile. So anyway. Getting another rinse off here. So that's dinner. Dinner is in the crock pot. It is 119 right now. We're about to go start school. I'm waiting for bright light. We'll go over this way. <laughs> I'm waiting for UPS to deliver um, so I can work. There's a bunch of stuff I need for work. So I'm waiting for them. Oh, I forgot. I forgot on my recipe. It says to sprinkle, um, of course, it's probably optional, parsley on top. And I know we've got lots. So Evan likes to cook things as well. So um, I have his parsley. I have my parsley. In a video the other day, you might have heard him say something. Is that my honey? Because, you know, I'm just going to sprinkle some parsley on top. There. Mm, a little too much there, Pam. Oh, well. Be fine. So hopefully this will be good. Um... Let me know. Here, I'm going to take you in the other room. What I was going to say is, let me know. If you have had COVID and you have a certain smell or taste to things that didn't have it before, if that makes any sense. So my husband always says that it's either like a skunky or a tuna kind of smell or even flavor like some foods have that flavor have whatever it is um, I noticed it too but mine isn't as strong as it used to be um, mine used to always be um, I love skinny pop popcorn and it had always been my favorite but it has that taste to it whatever mine isn't mine is a taste that I can't describe I can't say oh it tastes it smells like skunk or like a skunk or tuna it's it's something I can't actually you know put my finger on and tell you what it is this is my sister no so the zip code I mean the area code I thought it was my sister texting me I'm like what anyway um so the popcorn has it um some of the coffees at Dunkin Donuts had it um different things that I would eat had it but the main thing I don't know it's like diff just different things but it's kind of eased up but I still can't do the skinny pop it has it 
I can do the Walmart off brand um, of Skinny Pop. It's just like, I don't know, I bought some today. It was delicious. Um, so those, you know, I do that popcorn now. I just can't describe the scent. Like I smell it sometimes, but it's not like it used to be. It used to be a lot worse, but I think it's getting better. But so a lot of my dinners that I do make, he, he will be like, you know, I have that taste or I have that, you know, so it, I don't know. Um, but I think everyone pretty much loved the pickled chicken. Uncle Brian, Papa, they all said it was really good. Evan said it was really good. I love it. Sterling loved it. Everybody loved it, but my husband did not. Um, as you probably saw in the video, he gave it like three stars. But he's not big on pickles, but I don't know. So anyway, hopefully he will like these pork chops. And tomorrow is Journey's birthday. I have to, I'm not prepared y'all, not prepared. <laughs> um, so for her actual birth date tomorrow, I'm going to make, um, like Thanksgiving. I'm going to do a turkey breast, some mashed potatoes, some dressing, cranberry sauce, and green bean casserole. That's going to be all for um, dinner. And then I'm going to bake either cupcakes or a cake for Journey and Uncle Brian. And then I also have a dessert <coughs> that I'm going to make Uncle Brian. Well, mainly, you know, for his, for his. Okay, it's the brownie s'mores dessert. It's not going to focus. Here, focus right here. There you go. So I'm going to make this. It's a brownie mix, instant pudding, graham crackers, whipped topping, a jar of marshmallow cream, mini marshmallows and a Hershey bar so he really is a chocolate fan and so I just I saw this and I thought mm, that looks pretty good <laughs> so I'm going to make this you know so this is all tomorrow so um, I will have to I'll have to see how long I have to cook my turkey breast it's just a breast so I'm going to figure that out journey and going to see if I can get maybe a little editing done. School time! We've got to put our phone up. What do we do with her phone? Hey, you bought those new markers and crayons and they're on the counter. So Mom, look, see, go... I found the on cool. Look, see? Okay, we'll pause it That's... and you can watch it later. Put your phone up. Anyway, we're going to start school right now. Very good. Okay, so if you are looking at the back of somebody, what's the opposite of the back? Yeah. What is the opposite? Mm, I don't know. Wait, wait, come here. What's this? Is your back? What's what's the opposite? Scratching. Huh? Scratching. Scratching. What's on the opposite? This is the back. This is the. This is the shirt. shirt. No, look at mama. Okay, so if this is the back of my shirt, this is the. Okay, if something is in the back, let's say you're in a car and you're sitting in the back seat, mommy and daddy are sitting in the back seat. Where do mom and dad sit? Do we sit in the back seat? Mm -mm. Where do we sit? In the... <laughs> but what is that called? Driving. No, no, come on. Driving. Driving. The opposite of the back would be the front. Mm -hmm. Okay? Front. Okay, so can you find a man that has the front of him, not the back of him? 
No, it has to be on this side. No, no, journey uh -huh. on this side. Can you find the front of a guy? If this is the back, mm -hmm. where's the front? Which one is the front? You need to draw a line from him to him. I did. Okay, your line goes like this though. Okay, can you do a straight line over there? Okay. So if something is tame, that means they're nice kitties. Where is a wild kitty? Okay. If something is heavy, so an elephant would weigh a lot of weight. He's really heavy. What is something that would be very light? A baby. Well, a baby is light, but what about a feather? Mm -hmm. Is a feather light? Yes. Okay, draw a line from the elephant to the feather. If something is old, he's an old man. Where's the young one? Very good. Wait, on wait. this page... I need a newer color. Okay, on this, this page we're going to trace some shapes. Shape. What shapes are they? Blue shape. What is this? A third. Star, square, cube, oval. 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 It's corn. Do you get the lights in that? Do you like about corn? It's corn. Do you get the lights in that? Okay, next it says leaf. Okay. And the last one is pumpkin. Pumpkin. Great job. Now you have to pick up all your little pieces that you cut and throw them in the trash. Hey guys, so I just got downstairs starting everything up. But I wanted to vlog this because I saw this um on somebody else's vlog recently and I wanted to try it because we have this stain here so this was underneath the bed that used to be here it's a messy play area um, I made that yesterday for a journey to wear tomorrow but um so yeah she's having a mermaid I mean she's having a unicorn birthday on Sunday so we're having her birthday party on Sunday but she also really likes mermaids she has this one mermaid doll that she's obsessed with it's not down here of course I think it was upstairs next to the sink but um, she asked me mm, probably a week ago if I would make her a mermaid um, she wanted a tutu so I made her the tutu and I made her that shirt to match. Anyway, regardless, we're talking about this spray. And we will see. This is lipstick. And this is from Journey when Journey was a bit smaller. And she got into her sister's makeup and then hit it and rubbed it all over the floor. So we're going to see. And it says no rinsing needed for this stuff. It says it gets out all this stuff on here. Um, pet accidents, grease, ink, red wine, coffee, blood, rust, food, cosmetics, dirt, grime, most food, most old stains. Excellent for upholstery. So we're going to try it out. My battery's going to die. We'll see. So I'm just really saturating it and let it kind of soak in here a bit. And we will see if it works. I'm just going to scrub this side of it. So that is some caked on makeup. I feel like I'm just kind of smearing it around. I'm going to work with this first.
Okay guys, I did scrub on it for a little bit and this is what they look like right now. I'm sure if I do it again and scrub on it, floor's wet maybe. Wet, you're stepping in the wet, you'll have to get over there. So I think it looks so much better. Like I said, if I scrubbed a little bit more, it probably would be all gone, but ain't nobody got time for that. So if anybody wants to buy it, this is, <laughs> look at that, it's pink at the end. So I took it, sprayed it, and then I scrubbed it with the end. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I always do that when I have it. Um, but this is what it's called, Folex. Yeah, like I said, I just saw it on somebody's vlog recently, and so um, they said it was like $10 on Amazon, so I went there and looked. I bought three big bottles just like this. These are 32 ounces for $20. So it was $19.99 for three of them. I'll link up down below. This isn't sponsored, um, but if you do use, hold on. If you do use my link, Mom, what? There's a free Alina. See, yeah, it's right. It's right here. <laughs> that was, it wasn't a flea. Uh, not saying they don't have fleas. I mean, they probably do, but we do use a flea treatment on them every month. But anyway, it was like a little careful. Make sure she don't scratch you. Mom. Um, Mom. Yeah. So if you do use my link, I do get a little kickback. Um, that goes for anything you buy. Like if you used my link, got to Amazon from using my link and added stuff to your cart and purchased it, I do get um, a little kickback. Uh, I had the best month ever about two months ago. I got hundred and eighty four dollars hundred and eighty four dollars yes um normally like I have you know people will buy you know use my link and buy whatever embroidery stabilizer and stuff like that and average I get about ten dollars a month it's not much but let's say Christmas is coming up and you like to buy stuff on Amazon just use my link Go through my link, get to one of the products that I have down below. You don't actually have to, you know, buy that product, but you can shop through that, you know, once you get to Amazon through my link, and if you purchase something, I do get a kickback. So, um, like I said, that two months ago, I got $184. I couldn't, I was about to die. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? Um, I think I sold... I wish I could have it pulled up. I could tell you how much I sold in order to get that much money. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But I am drinking coffee. I am totally on a coffee kick. Um, it just started. I mean, I like coffee. Don't get me wrong. Usually it's iced coffee, right? From Dunkin' Donuts. But we gave up going. We didn't. So we didn't technically give it up altogether. We have gotten it, I think, twice. And we are, what, in, on the 20th, we're, so in 20 days, maybe three times. Not really sure, but we've only gotten it like three, maybe three times in 20 days. I left a ring on the table. I'm trying to scratch it off with my coffee cup. I got wipes in there. I can wipe this all down. Uh, but, uh, I, I buy the caramel cream coffee little, yeah, pods. What are they called? Can't even think of it. It's so good. But I'm norm normally not a hot coffee drinker unless it's like cold out. But here lately, I've been liking hot cup of coffee with some uh, I got the gingerbread
creamer. It's the Grinch one. Gingerbread cookie creamer. Something like that. It's so good. I wanted to buy some butter pecan because that's my ultimate favorite. Um, but they were out. So I'm like, well, I still have gingerbread left. I'll just finish that one up. So I'm trying to get online so I can check to see. Because I want to know, really, how much did I sell in order to make $184? And with Christmas coming up, if everybody goes and use my link, I might make some extra Christmas money. I mean, if you're going to buy it anyway, you know what I mean? I was trying to tell Evan. Evan, like, bought some stuff. And I'm like, use my link. And he's always like, oh, I forgot. I forgot. I can tell you how much I made this month. This month I made $4.07. So... Yeah, that's about par. Oh, eight seventy-eight total. What is this? I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, let me go into where do we go? Fall report. Okay, we got a problem. This is taking forever. I have no idea why. It's like thinking about it. Why is it taking too long? Oh, your site cannot be reached. That's a problem we got with this computer. Um, disconnect. I have to disconnect and connect to the internet in order for it to work. And now all is. Oh, this is on. Okay. Mm, I have to do a custom. I think it was maybe July. Pretty sure it was July. I think I accidentally clicked on somebody's video. Yeah, it was July. I sold. So, I sold 2,847. That means I didn't sell it. I mean, people went through my link and purchased $2,847. So, you know, every little bit adds up. And so if you go Christmas shopping, whatever, use my link. You need some tool, you need some stabilizer, you need some, use my link. Um, but if you need some stain remover, it's not sponsored. Just wanted to try it to get that ugly stain out of the carpet. It works. Um, I'm going to use it upstairs. We got tons, tons. Our, our, our carpet is like stain. Stain city upstairs. Um, I do have a carpet cleaner and I do clean it every now and then and I want to clean it probably within the next couple days and I'm going to use this to get a lot of the stains um, but yeah we don't want to replace our carpet until you know who is older um, we've talked about it in the past about um, you know updating a lot of things and removing the carpet get new carpet but I think we are going to, like, well, I know we're going to wait on the carpet. Um, I do want to get a couple of recliners and get rid of those yellow chairs. I never liked them in the get from the beginning. So my husband goes through fades. I don't know. I love him. But <laughs> he was really into, like, getting the 70s, you know. And so he thought those chairs, those gold chairs, kind of looked like the 70s. And he wanted a rocker recliner. I remember that. And we ended up getting a, a swivel rocker recliner is what he wanted. So we ended up, um, he found those on Craigslist or something and went and got them. And they were new when we got, like, in pristine, brand new condition when we got them. But, you know, cats, journey, yeah, they're trashed. So I do want to get a couple recliners one, if not two, it just depends on, you know, it just depends on 
uh, the size, the style, the, you know, um, yeah. What else was I? Oh, and the next thing you want to do is replace the cabinet, like a couple of the cabinet doors up, you know, are in our kitchen do need to be replaced because they've been damaged from, from water and from the cats. Um, the one in front of the sink especially, it started with like water damage from when the boys were little and they would do dishes and they would get water everywhere. But that they had chores. Um, they had to wash dishes or fold clothes. And it's kind of funny that they had these chores, but you know, Sterly, now Sterly does take care of the cats. She does have some chores, but not like Nathan and Evan had chores. One had to do dishes, one had to drop, uh, fold clothes. Um, and they would switch, they would switch weeks. So one would do dishes, one would fold clothes. But Sterly, I mean, she could be like emptying the dishwasher. She could be folding clothes, you know. She could have, she does pick up the living room and pick up, you know, when I tell her to. So that is good. I mean, it's not like she doesn't do it. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not bashing on her, like saying she doesn't do anything. You know, she does empty litter boxes. She feeds cats every day. Um, you know, cleans up if they throw up or make a mess. She cleans that up. Um, she usually picks up the living room for some Robux when I ask her to. She'll empty the dishwasher when I ask her to. So, it's, you know, and she is responsible for keeping her room picked up and cleaned and her bathroom as well. So, anyway, um, enough rambling. I need to get to work. Enjoy my coffee. That's my shipment I was waiting for. I'm going to open that up and get busy. So I would rate this 9.5 out of 10. The sauce, I don't know what the sauce is, but it, it, it gives this flavor in your mouth. It's like an explosion. The little potatoes, the baby potatoes, if you will, perfectly mashed, but by my teeth. Because <laughs> they're not mashed in the, in, in the thing. <laughs> The pork chop, solid as ever. You can't get better than that. And the green beans complement the whole dish Ex exquisitely. See. Hey, let me see your makeup. Come here. Let me see your doll. Come over this way. Both of them. Money, 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 money. Hey, guys. It is one. 30 a.m. <laughs> it's Johnny's birthday. I finished almost uh, I finished everything I could so I could t there is I think two or three I will have to do in order to take a Sunday off so um, I'm hoping to get those done Saturday and that way I will have tomorrow. I don't plan on working tomorrow if I can help it. Um, I say that, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I have the opportunity to throw one or two on the machines, I'll go ahead and do that. But um, I'm gonna take it off because I am making a like Thanksgiving dinner and I am baking cake and I'm making dessert and I need to clean the house and I wanted to clean their carpets um so yeah and it's Journey's birthday and I need to wrap presents and I need to figure out her birthday party you know which is Saturday so hoping to take tomorrow off and get all that sorted out and then Saturday I don't technically have any plans um, other than you know prepping for Sunday and then Sunday is birthday party day so I do plan on taking Sunday off as well so I would take tomorrow and Sunday off if everything works out good and then next week is like crunch week cuz after next week it's like um, we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday we are going to a concert. And then Sunday, I don't think anything's going on Sunday. Monday is 
Halloween. It's Monday Halloween. I think Monday's Halloween. So we will No, yeah, Monday's Halloween. So we have that going on. Um we'll be trick or treating at church. And then Tuesday my sister flies in and then Wednesday we head to Florida. So um this is crunch week to try to get all my orders done so I can have a clear slate not clear but my next orders I did bump up my turnaround time so my next orders um, are due to ship out like November 7th or something like that so um, which is Monday we will be back on Monday so I don't technically plan on shipping anything that day but we'll see how it goes I mean if I could get them out before I go that would be great um, but I do want to I think the 31st Halloween is a minimal day. I mean, we will be here in the daytime and my husband has to go to work. So, um, but I still have to get Journey's costume. She, we've learned from past experience, you know, with Sterling that you wait until to get their costume because otherwise they change their minds. So, um, she still wants to be Wonder Woman. So I'm going to go ahead and order that probably tomorrow and hopefully in a week she'll still want to be Wonder Woman but I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow on Journey and Uncle Brian's birthday. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye guys. Happy birthday to you. Mom, Happy you birthday Mom. to Mom. you. What? Do you have orange? Mom, look, see, see? These are blue colors. Are they blue colors? Look at your birthday outfit. It's so cute.